y'all. It's Annie Boulay Vaughn here. So I have a surprise to show you. Y'all saw the vlogs when we were looking for a kitten. Um, today I didn't really know if I would get a kitten or not, but we went to Bark, B-A-R-C, the animal shelter. And um, before I went, I was looking at their website online and they had a lot of small white kittens. And y'all know I really wanted a small kitten and I really wanted it to be white. So we went there, um, the regular area, we checked all the rooms and stuff like that. Um, saw a few kittens, but not really a small white one. And so I showed them pictures of some that I had seen on their website and they said, oh yeah, those are in the bag because they would have to be fostered before you actually adopt them. So they take us to the bag and I see all these little small, cute, tiny white kittens. And so um, one that I had bookmarked is actually one that my husband liked. So I'm gonna show him to y'all right now. Look. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Look at his eyes, y'all. So we haven't named him yet. We're gonna wait till we get used to him a little bit um, and then we'll give him a name. But um, the lady that helped us out says that she believes that he is Siamese. Hi, love. Look at his eyes. And we really liked his color. I really wanted just an all white one. But um, like I said, my husband picked this one out. And um, once I got him outside in the sunlight, I realized just how pretty he was. So I really, really like his fur, the color he is. He's just chilling on my lap right now while we drive. Just getting to know us, but he came in this box. Pretty big box for his size. So you can see the inside. We had him in here. I'm trying to show y'all the inside. There we go. We had him in there. And so we don't really have anything for him right now except some food at home. So we're going to go... Um, Get him a bed oh we have a toy for him but we're gonna go get him a bed and um see if there's anything else he needs and we're just like i said we're fostering him right now um until he's old enough to get fixed as they call it and we have to take him back on october 11th inshallah for his booster shots and we're just gonna take care of you love until we can fully adopt you yes and the only reason they said that he has to be fostered is because he hasn't been fixed and he's still very young. Um, where's his paper? I can tell y'all how old he is. Huh, baby? Um, I don't know. We just need to get him a bed. So I don't know. Um, uh, Target, Walmart, the pet places, they're all like in the same vicinity. That Walmart that's down there, and then I think that's a Pet Smart or Pet Co. This is the paper that was outside his little cage at the shelter and it says that he is approximately five weeks old. So he's just a little over a month. And she out, you so nosy poo poo. You so nosy. And y'all, we just got him just a few minutes ago, maybe about 30 minutes ago, 35 minutes ago. And he's so curious. Like he's looking all around the car. He wants to know everything that's going on. How cute. Look at the people and say hi. You're so tiny. Look, baby. Look, 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 look. Y'all see his eyes? Didn't I tell you? They're so pretty. Okay, so y'all will get an update, um, inshallah, uh, within a couple of weeks or so, or maybe a few days. I'll let y'all know how he's doing and show y'all whatever we get for him. So for now, that's it. We don't have anything to call him yet. <laughs> It's going to call him little baby for right now. Okay, y'all, so we just got home a little while ago, and there's the baby's blanket. This is the little bed, and uh, my husband is behind me <laughs> using his laser to play with him. So um, I'm going to record in a little while here and uh, cut that little collar off of his neck and see how he does in his bed and give him some food. Okay, so then I have these little tiny scissors and these little clipper things. I don't want to hurt him, but I want to get this collar off of him. Um, it seems like it's very, very tight. On his neck. I got, I got you can see it's pretty tight on his neck, and he's fighting because we just let him free, and he likes being free and going all around the house. So, okay, here we go. Grab him. But we got it. Alright. He didn't like that. It was it was pretty tight on his neck. You free?
Right now, though, they had to think pretty tight on you. You didn't like it. You didn't. Here he is. This is his first time that we're putting him in his bed. And I have this little cute toy that I got it. And so right here, I have some water and some cat food. Um, we haven't fed him yet. So hopefully, he will eat. He won't always eat in the living room. This is just for right now. Uh, we plan on setting him up in the back kitchen where um, the floor is tiled. So if he makes a mess or poops or pees or anything, it'll be really easy to clean up. I'm just doing this right here right now for the sake of the video. Oh, you are eating. Hey, boo boo. Oh, hey. Is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's hungry. He drank a little bit of water and then he ate, right? So started eating. You like your bowls? Aren't you good for you? So I don't know if y'all um, watched the video that I had made when I had my guinea pig, Zulu. Um, if you didn't, I'll link it up at the top of this video somewhere. But um, I still have the um, I forgot the proper name for them, but you can create like a cage or something with those little panels, um, like grid panels, grid panels that I use for Zulu. I still have those, so what I plan on doing is getting, I don't know, maybe about four to six of those little grid panels and just making a little um, area for him to go in and then putting his bed in there so that it's very soft. And we'll keep him there for right now because he is so small, um, especially when we're not here. So then he won't go all over and hide under the couch or under the bed and get lost and I'm not going to be able to find it. So that's what I plan on doing. So when I have that done, I will definitely show you all. But um, yeah, this is just a video for the first day. We finally got our little fur baby. If you did not see the vlogs where we were going to the SBCA and uh, Friends for Life looking for a kitten, I will also link those up at the top right now for you if you want to watch those. And then I'll also leave the links down below so you can check those out. If I can maybe turn them around so y'all can see. Yeah, he's got you on his head so you don't make a mess. He so don't make a mess, Pupu. We got this tidy cat litter here. Um, we didn't really know what was the best for him as a kitten. It did recommend something at Petco, but then we had to go to um, PetSmart, check them out. I didn't see the brand, so we're just trying this out for now. Um, learning as I go, this is my first kitten, so if you have any suggestions, tips, advice, comment down below. You're gonna see a lot of videos with him because I am already completely in love. And then we have this really tiny uh, litter box for him. And we got this little cat scratcher for him so he can work out his nails on that. And then this is another toy that we had. Um, my husband actually got this because I was trying to adopt a stray cat that um, comes to our patio and eats. So my husband had got this for me to kind of become friends with it, but I'll be using it for our little baby now. I know, I'm not trying to distract you. I'm sorry. Yes, we'll put that over there, okay? So if you can hear some meowing, that's the stray cat that is always on our patio, and I'm gonna show y'all that cat. I wanted to adopt that one as well. Um, I, it just won't allow me to touch it yet. So I don't really know what's gonna happen with that one, but I'm gonna show y'all. So this is the stray cat that I was telling y'all about. I don't believe that it's feral. I think that it's just a stray cat. And it'll come close, but it won't let me touch it. It'll go away. So what I normally do is just put some food for it outside because it's very, very sweet, very intelligent. So. I 
have a little uh, piece of foil out here. Oh, the foil is way over there. They must have moved it. So anyway, there's another little thing. Sometimes I just leave this out here and I'll just put the food in there. Over that way I have some milk and um, some water. They don't mess with the milk, so I'm not gonna put any more milk out there. It's almond milk, so that's probably why they don't mess with it. Um, but yeah, I just put water out here and some food. I know that people say don't feed stray cats because they're never gonna go away, but you know, it's whatever. No, baby, you move. You move, you move. It's going to go, go. That cat, I think that cat might be blind or partially blind. It just seems like it. Not for you, love. It's not for you. for you over there you eat that okay, eat that one. okay. all right y'all so that is it for this video let me show you the new baby again there he is right there just finish eating his food. You okay, baby? Go drink some water. Alright, y'all. So I'm tired and hungry. You can probably hear it in my voice. <laughs> We've been ripping and running all day. So I'm about to turn this off and just chillax. Thanks for watching. Peace, blessings, love, and light. Bye.